You know, it's this type of hyperpartisan bull that just prevents us from getting anything useful done in the country. And I stand by my assertion that the next federal election will be kind of neck and neck either way. It'll either be a minority conservative government or a minority liberal government. You, the people who have never had confidence in the liberal party, have lost confidence in the liberal party. Surprise, surprise. Will there be a chunk of liberal voters that will go conservative? Sure, maybe a few. But conversely, there will be people that will turn away from the conservative party. Because also, as well, the demographics of both of those parties are pretty old. But you guys also seem to forget that right now, things are neck and neck between the liberal and conservative party at about 33%. But you have to contend with the bloc, the green, and the NDP party as well, as well as younger demographics who are now becoming of voting age. The numbers have stayed pretty consistent across our entire history, and they will remain so. And mark my words, this election will come down to a few select ridings that were neck and neck. In terms of the actual amount of votes, they'll probably stay relatively the same, with the most support for Conservatives coming from the Western provinces. Within the few stronghold areas of Ontario and Quebec, it will go back and forth between the Liberals or the Conservatives, and that's what will decide the election. And in terms of the ArriveCam app, yes, it was poorly managed, poorly done. It's not as drastic as Conservatives are trying to make it out to be, but it was a bungle, to say the least. But, compared to the Greenbelt scandal, the oil well shit, Scott Moe and the frickin' hotel rooms and stuff, the misappropriation of COVID funds, and cutting and slashing of our healthcare and our education, I'll take overpaying a developer to blatant corruption. What you have here, any of your little silly polls that use flawed methodology, any of your speculation from anecdotes based on people that you talk to in your personal life, it's just conjecture. The only way we can know if the Canadian populace has lost faith in the Liberal Party is to wait for an election. And whether you like it or not, they've been given a mandate three times in a row. I find it hard to believe that even if they lose, that they lose by more than a few points. The best that you guys can hope for is a conservative minority government that is outvoted by the NDP and the Liberals. World Economic Forum. Now go buy my books. First up is my book of conservative conspiracy theories that have persisted throughout the years, and I debunk them from A to Z. Next up is my sci-fi books. You can find them by going to Amazon and searching their titles, or by heading into my profile and clicking the link.